what's going on with the GOP and what's next for Jim Jordan? Let's get into all of that. <laughs> It's me, D Sparta. Welcome to my channel. How are all you Spartans doing out there? Yeah, I gotta tell you, I have been watching C SPAN. Yes, I have. A lot of my resting in bed and recovering from being very ill. I got just drawn in, and yeah, it's been, it has been crazy going on. Uh, here in America under, in the House of Representatives. And we're going to get into that today. <laughs> if you're new here and you don't know who I am, well, I am D, And I'm a psychic medium. I do readings all the way from now, apparently, politics. I wasn't going to be getting into politics as much, but I'm, I'm in it. <laughs> True crime, uh, K-pop, you got it. I cover it. And... We're going to get into a little bit of background about what's going on with the House of Representatives, what's happened with Jim Jordan, and what this is <laughs> losing <laughs> a third time, what effect this has on the GOP party and the House of Representatives on a whole. Now, I do put the chapter link so you can get the background info on it, or you can just skip on ahead. And do the tarot reading, but or you could do the tarot reading and then the background, whichever way it's up to you. It's all good, it's all good. <laughs> oh my, I can't wait to get into this. This is this is tricky, yes, it is. And thank you for being around for this. And please subscribe if you haven't already, hit that notification bell. You never know when my videos are coming, and if you hit the notification bell. You will be notified if the system doesn't screw that up. <laughs> okay. Let's, 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 let's get into Jim Jordan and the House of Representatives and how possibly threatening spouses of the representatives backfired. friends my spartans welcome back thank you for sticking around with me we're gonna get into jim jordan jim jordan is man trump loves jim jordan he is the house of representative for the state of for the state of ohio he's one of the house of representatives for the state of ohio Oh boy, and he he hasn't done much. As you know, that is like getting a bill passed, writing a bill, you know, working, you know, nothing like that, like which is his job, you know, but he hasn't been able to do this. Yet Trump awarded him the Medal of Freedom. Medal of Freedom usually goes to somebody who has done something to help freedom, okay? Encourage freedom and diversity. Well, Jordan won it because, as Trump said, he is the GOP's my greatest ally. So, yeah, he's one of the little Trump's little guys. And uh, he wanted to take advantage of Matt Gates getting McCarthy voted out, removed for the first time. Speaker of the House has been removed. Like, whoa. I guess MAGA Republicans, GOP party people thought they could just slide on in and take over things now. They have a way of thinking that they have control, and they have. I would say, for the most part, the GOP has sat back and just kind of let MAGA take control and run things. So Jim Jordan, he um, wants to run in, for a house, and so does Scalise. 
Now a secret vote is held for Scalise to choose another representative there in the House of Reps. And he recently, he's in cancer remission. But, you know, Jordan plays on people's fears and like, how can he be in charge? He has cancer. Oh, yeah, he went that route. And in a secret vote, Scalise realized he did not have the 217 votes that are needed in order for him to be elected Speaker of the House. So he decided, okay, screw it, fine. I'll back out. I'm not going to do run. That made Jim Jordan happy and those of him wanting him in office. The thing is, Jim Jordan also did not have the votes. And so they go to the House, they go to vote, and... He is shy about, so I can forget, somewhere between three to five votes, okay? He doesn't get it. So they're like, okay. They do another vote. But they get, they, they try to manipulate the situation. Some of their tactics have been, you know, threatening the representatives. If you don't do this, then we're going to take this from you. And we, you're not going to be on this committee or this. Well, they took it to a whole new level. MAGA started messaging the wives, the spouses of the House of, these House of Representatives who were either on the fence or not voting for Jordan. Okay. And they are threatening, telling these uh, the spouses, the wives, that you better tell your husband to vote for Jordan or you're going to lose everything. He's not going to have a career anymore. You will be without anything, without money. You will lose it all if he does not vote for Jim Jordan. So you better make sure... He votes for Jim Jordan. And some of the wives were kind of sassy and snapped back, like, are you serious? You know, <laughs> you, the messages you can find on the internet, they were not, yeah, some of those women were not having it. You know, it's kind of like, really think that's going to work, you know? <laughs> well, that info gets released, a vote is done, and he lost a few more. He did gain one vote, and this was from somebody who had not been present the day before, the vote before, so they weren't there. They were one of the non-voters. Still, he doesn't have the votes. He's still shy. He's like at 200 votes. Doesn't have it. He needs 217. So, he tries again, folks, for the third time he really believes he's got this well I guess his threats started not people started thinking about more and more and it wasn't sitting very well with even those who were not threatened who had not been involved they're like whoa this is too much we can't let him keep take control so, he lost more votes. <laughs> he was, <laughs> wasn't getting better. It was only getting worse for Jim Jordan. So, yesterday, Friday afternoon or morning, they held, the GOP held a secret ballot vote. So, in this situation, see, normally when they vote, representatives have to say what their vote is publicly, out loud, verbally so everybody could see and everybody knows who's voting what okay but they've been holding these secret ballots and they were like okay let's see are you you know Jim wanted to go fourth time he was not going to give up he really believed he could force this to happen Secret ballots are done, and 
it's bad, folks. 86, only 86 representatives voted. Yes, let them try again. But over 100 <laughs> said no. Mm -mm. So now Jordan is out. And he it can't try again for the fourth time. The GOP is like, no, we're not putting you up as a, our candidate anymore. It's done. Bridge is burned, fucker. <laughs> it's just basically what happened. So who's coming next? And what is this saying? Is what is this? Is this a message to the MAGA um, GOP? I think so. Is the GOP going to try and take back the power away from MAGA? Who knows? Or is are they going to back down and get scared again? Are they going to be able to vote one of their people into as the Speaker of the House? What's going to happen if we don't have one? You know, um, the Democrats are all on board and they've been voting for Hakeem and he, you know, he could, you know, we might have, even though Republican majority in the House, we still might have a Democrat House or House Speaker because... Yeah, the Republicans are divided. They're not a whole party anymore. It's either it it it's really what is going on with this party, and I want to look into that. So <laughs> stick around and let's get into the tarot reading. All right, folks. Yeah. All right, everybody, let's get into this reading. Let's find out what's going on with Jim Jordan. Did, did Jordan basically just destroy the GOP? Are they the MAGA? Did they lose power? Is this a sign that they are losing power in the House of Representatives? Or, yeah, just are they losing power overall? Is Trump? As powerful as he used to be. Is he going to have the power of the GOP behind him anymore? And is having MAGA behind him enough? These are questions I have. Okay, let's see the cards. Okay. Well, <laughs> justice popped up. <laughs> it also popped up. There were three cards, so I'm going to use them all here, folks. The Eight of Wands in reverse. Mm. And then we have Ace of Cups. This is a... This, this, I think behind closed doors, majority of the GOP is like, yes, we got rid of Jordan. There is this like, you and Matt Gates and all you MAGA, you, you know, <laughs> you don't have the power anymore. That's what I'm really, you know, kind of that sense of they're like, we got justice. Um, <laughs> with the wands reversed here, they're panicking. Mag is panicking. Um, and at the same time, so is the other GOP. There is a lot of panic and they're feeling stuck. Like, we can't go forward. We, ha we got a little bit of justice. Little bit of justice here. We got it. But we got to put, what's going to happen next? And they're having to, the Ace of Cups. Rethink, come up with new ideas. Come up with someone different to bring up to speak. And I know there's been talks of a McHenry and some others, but I don't know. I think they're like, we need someone who's strong enough to get the votes. 
how many more are going to jump the MAGA ship and leave it behind and follow the... I don't know. Well, <laughs> here's the Page of Pentacles. Money talks, people. And so does their career. Pentacles is about your career. It's about fun, family. And it's about money. It's, a, it's, it's an earth sign. It's the foundation. And... This is the knight. He's taking action. People wanting to fight for their jobs and maintain being their positions as house of representative, and they need to. And they're realizing, okay, I need to stand up and not be bullied by MAGA anymore. And I think there's a confidence boost because of what's happened. Yeah, there's a, it's a, it's, <laughs> the lover's card here is reversed. People are no longer in love with MAGA, that's for sure. This is the, there is a distinct division and it is, you know, we got to overhear these wands and that just speaks loud and clearly, very loud and clearly. And the other card that fell out is the Ten of Swords. And you see this was reversed. And <laughs> I think they have pretty much, they have felt stabbed in the back by MAGA. There's been such a hopelessness that there's a lot of fear, but they realize it's coming to the end. This is, we, we got stabbed in the back. We trusted MAGA. We trusted Trump. It fucked us over we ended up having an insurrection <laughs> you know, someone trying to steal the votes steal the presidency someone trying to take away people's rights and it wasn't you know we thought we would get what we wanted passed and it's backfired so they're like going to be reaching out to democrats They need the Democrats' help in order if they're, they're going to get someone voted. You think a Democrat's going to jump ship? They're going to try and get real creative. They might end up having to vote for a Democrat to become House Rep in order to silence MAGA. In order for them to sit back and gain, try and regain control of the GOP. But they might see this as a loss. So there's a whole infighting going on right now what should we do which is like dividing it even further into like three groups not just the two let's see here and the moon is reversed over here so everybody's got dirt on everybody everybody's got dirt on everybody and they're gonna start slinging it the moon reverses <laughs> all them secret all this stuff is coming out and it's also, you will do what I say, or we're going to release your shit. You, you know, it's kind of like, we're done. We're done. We've had enough. And they're taking down the emperor. They're going, they want to completely separate themselves from Trump and Mag, MAGA. I think there's going to be like a redefining going on of the GOP party. Hey folks, we wanted a three-party system. <laughs> Maybe we're getting it. Or not just three-party, but more than just a two-party system. I don't think this is a great way of going about it. <laughs> but they're trying to break. It's like, Trump, we've had enough of you. They're going to be putting distance. They want to bring him down. Along with Matt Gates, Jim Jordan, and all the other crazies. Yeah, here's the five of wands. They're dancing around. This is five is conflict. There's fighting, fighting. And they're like, they're going to they're, they're gonna put up a fight. They are feeling like, okay. With the secret vote, they start seeing that there's more of them than of these little loud mouths. And if they can rally together, then they're like, we can be stronger and fight 
back. Really think we're going to be seeing... Um, we're going to see a lot of... There's going to be... They're going to be determined to get their man out. Here is the Seven of Pentacles. They don't want to let go and lose their power. They want to hold on to this. They're like, we have worked too fucking hard. We have worked too fucking hard to be here. To have these crazies spouting off you know, threats and living with fear. We've had enough of this. Um, we, we can't lose. And here is the fool reversed. And, once, you know, this is going over that whole <laughs> reverse emperor stuff. This is, they realize they've been used. That they have made bad choices. And it's about what do we do now? And it, it, hopefully they're not going to be reckless in this. They really need to proceed with caution. This newfound um, energy, feeling like, hey, we can stand up against them, might cause them to also be reckless, which could backfire. So there is a need to proceed with fucking caution. <laughs> Please. <laughs> okay, so this is interesting. A Queen of Cups is going to rise up. Now, I don't know of a woman who they're considering, but she's 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 behind something here. She's going to be behind the unification of bringing the the, uh, the GOP party up. This is Cancer energy. This is water. This is someone who is going to be able to try and bring healing to the GOP party. Um, they might end up being, she might end up being the Speaker of the House. Oh, she's more neutral, more moderate. Democrats might support her. I don't think GOP wanted her to be there originally, but I think it's like, We might have to consider this because in order for us to take back control, we're going to have to compromise. We can't put on somebody who is hardcore one way or another, you know, stri you know, someone with, uh, with some kind of extremism. You know, no alt-right, no extreme conservatism. It's got to be someone who's more moderate, who, you know, so that it's more palatable to the to the Democrats and liberals, okay? Um, I think she can bring, you know, she's going to, she's making, forcing them to look at things a different way. Um, the hangman reversed here is very much that, okay, um, MAGA is going to would want to try and say, hey, we are martyrs. We're the victims in all this. But they're not. Um, they are going to try and stall. They want to try and stall any more votes for somebody else. They are unwilling to cave. MAGA is going to try and push, push, push. And they might get reckless, is what I'm seeing here. I kind of want to pull out my dark deck. This is the new deck I have. My shadowy deck. It's a little different, so I might have to look at the book a few times. But I'm feeling really drawn here to pull from this other deck right now. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling some good energy here. There's a lot of panic, a lot of panic, a lot of panic. Both sides are panicking. The Democrats, they're watching, they're waiting. It's like they're waiting for their opportunity to come in and be like, hello, do you need some help? <laughs> <laughs> 
while everyone else is trying to attack the other. Yeah, so, wow. See, there's two extra cards in this deck, okay? And it's shadow and it's light. Shadow dropped first. That is a lot of stuff that, you know, shadow usually has to do with what we're, you know, we kind of, where our ego is kind of the other side of us where we try and suppress things. Um, and the challenges that gonna force upon um, the House of Representatives on a whole is, this is all about a challenging. Um, there's just a lot of misguided confusion and paranoia and that has ruled and this is reflecting of that and it's going to be coming to the light more and more as we see where when they draw across that line threatening spouses yeah, five of pentacles dealing with conflict dealing with the, wanting to control and hold power there is this need to just take everything and they're standing on the outside looking at all the riches on the inside. And it's like, how did we end up on the opposite side? We were, so, you know, and yeah, there is, there's a fear of losing it all. Um, hmm. Here's the seven of wands. We've been seeing this card as it's reversed. Um. That's about, looks like, you know, surrendering, not willing to surrender with it reverse. It's, yeah, I want to look at something here, just to double look at something, because um, yeah, they're going to have to take advantage. Um, the Democrats and the regular GOP not the alt-right, not the MAGA guys. They're going to need to take advantage of the situation. Um, they're going to have to come to work together. If that's possible, I don't know. But that's the path that it's going on here. Um, here's the world. Look at the cards, the woman and the snake and everything. And the world here in this deck is a little different. <laughs> Because what we're looking at here with the world reversed, I mean upright, this is more of a reversal. I see that they can, they're about, they have to learn to stand their ground. They haven't been able to stand their ground. I think there's been a lot of fear um, with some of that, uh, you know, McCarthy definitely was afraid to stand ground and was wishy-washy and breaking promises and got removed. They need somebody who is going to stand the ground and be able to look at a Matt Gates in the eyes and make get a Matt cower and realize he doesn't have the power. You're going to need someone like that. Um, and I just see this woman just wanting to rise up and be like, fuckers. Here's the Wheel of Fortune reversed. And in this deck, it's a little different once again. We're not dealing with the normal reversal of fortune and bad luck, but this is, they've had a shit ton of bad luck, right? But now they have to realize and accept responsibility for their bad luck. This is accepting that you fucked up. These are your consequences. Are you willing to come forward and tell people, hey, we're taking things back. This was a mess. We're not going to let this these kids, MAGA kids, run the playground anymore. <laughs> there were the bullies of the playground and we're not going to put up against. We're going to stand our ground. 
the world is all stand your fucking ground. Don't get crushed by this. Now, <laughs> I hope they can do this because the next card is the moon. And we all know the moon, we're dealing with lots of secrets. And I think they're very much afraid of what can be revealed or what's going to come. But they need to trust their own intuitions and not the fear. They're going to have to try and get Democrats to work alongside with them because here's the death card reversed. And the death card in this deck, let's see here, reversed. It's, I want to say, yeah, it's not good. <laughs> But it's not the complete end, all of end. Okay, usually death means the beginning of something new. And when we reverse, it's holding back. But this is about having to, they have to let go. Anyway, this is just a common theme we're seeing here. Let go of Trump and MAGA. Don't try and win them over anymore. The, the, before they've been trying, well, if we cooperate with them, then they'll work with us. And that hasn't happened. No, they just trampled them. Now they're like, okay, we're just going to, we're not going to work with you anymore. we got to stand our ground. They have to motherfucking stand their ground or it's going to collapse. That's just it. You know, <laughs> that is what I see here. I hope this is what's going to happen. I hope, I hope, I hope that the house can get a speaker in place soon but it's gonna take them rising up admitting that they were defeated because they tried to work with somebody they shouldn't have maga take back their power and try to see if they could get the Democrats to help them out. Now, the Democrats, I, I think right now, they, they've been like, this is fun watching you suffer. You deserve this. You know, maybe they will come in around and help. Who knows? That's, that's another reading, I would say. And I'm not going to do it today. But there we go with Jim Jordan, GOP, and what's going on with MAGA. Wow. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe. Remember, I also give personal readings. If you do, go to my website, dsparta.com. They are on sale right now, starting at $10. If there is anything else you want to say, comment down below. Remember, keep it civil. Keep it civil. That's the, that's the most important thing here. Don't attack the, the person commenting. You can attack, you can attack the, the whole Republican, Democratic, and MAGA thing, uh, parties. That, that's fine. But if someone is about saying something that you disagree with, don't go, oh, you're an idiot, and I'm not going to listen to you. That's, I'm not going to put up with those comments. And we'll just remove them. And repeat offenders, I'm just going to block you from everything, you know, just, just be civil, okay? Be nice to each other, even if you disagree with each other, okay? That's what I'm asking. So, <laughs> done with that. If you want a space where you can talk and people aren't fighting, because people do, where everyone is gets along well, even if we disagree, you can join my Discord server. By do, to, in order to get in the Discord server, you got to join the, my channel, $5, or join my Patreon, which is $3, which also gives you access to other uh, videos and different things that I will post over there on my Patreon. There you have it, folks. Just remember, I love you all. And my little Spartans, remember, remember, be kind to yourselves and be kind to others. And I will see you around next time. Mm -hmm.